everyone and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 2 and our Island Treasures Zone where we are watching our beautiful Galapagos tortoise. <laughs> look at that face. Just look at this face. We're watching our Galapagos tortoise as they are munching on their apple treats. Oh, and Platypus 2 is still super duper hungry. So let's come over here. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna go eat the shellfish. I know you say that to me often, my friend, and yet then you don't do it. I am so worried about these guys. All right, let's see if we can get away from them for a second. Let the water splash around and calm down. All right, what are you doing, zookeeper? Just sitting on your rump. Keeper Hoinman, waiting for a job. He's got a whole bunch of different exhibits to take care of. And thank you guys for reminding me that I once again forgot to add a gate. I put a gate on our Galapagos tortoise exhibits, so they should be quite happy. And we'll be looking at them and some of their favorite treats in just a second. I just need to make sure the platypus. All right, are you getting something to eat now? I'm going to investigate. Why is this platypus so stubborn? The other one has no issues. I am 99% sure that the other platypus is just like content and happy as can be and doesn't starve itself to death. And then this one we run into and it always has issues. All right, I'm going to try flattening the terrain back here. And let's dive in and see if that makes the shellfish easier to get to. I'm almost ready to throw my hands up in frustration. There we go. This, to me, looks like it has shellfish and everything else. See, it's one of the platypi is just over here snacking away. Platypus 2 is really hungry. Is this platypus 2? I think it's platypus 2. Come on down! There's shellfish everywhere. Come on down, buddy. Oh! Oh, progress! Progress, can you reach him? All right, eat! Oh, it's eating! Oh, thank goodness. Come on. Eat those shellfish. All right, an old salty is really thirsty. Salty, you're you're in water. What are you doing? Gonna go eat the fish. What's wrong? What's going on here with old salty? Here, I'm gonna move this around. All right, all right. Salty is doing good. He's eating fish. Spotted couscous too has just given birth. Oh my gosh, so much going on here. Why are you not eating? All right, gonna go eat. All right, I have no idea why that platypus is not eating. Where's the other platypus? Spy Couscous 7 is for some reason in a crate, so we'll release him. Old Salty, how did you get so upset? How'd you get so upset? All right, gonna go drink some water. All right, where are you headed for that? Do you need... All right, man, all of our animals. Well, welcome back, everybody. I promise you, normally we take super duper good care of all of our creatures. We're just having a lot of issues, it seems, lately. All right, are you looking at this food dish? Standing over it? He's like, what's this? Going to drink water from the food dish. All right, I don't know why he wants to drink water from over here. He's been fine over here for ages, but who knows? All right, platypus two has finally eaten. <laughs> oh my gosh. And there's platypus number one, who's always been content. She has no issues. Oh, she's off to go carry her. <gasps> she's pregnant. She's pregnant, you guys. Platypus number two is pregnant. Oh my goodness, we have a pregnant platypi. All right, where is she? Come here, you. She is pregnant. This is so exciting. And she's just super, oh, she's playing, play chasing platypus too. Look at that. We're going to have a baby platypus before the day is over. That is so exciting. All right. All right. Well, this has been going on and guests want to find an ATM and there's just so much going on. I love how busy it always stays in our zoos. All right. I'm going to grab some bamboo and tuck some bamboo down over here to fill in this area because I think it'll look nice. Um, I kind of need a better variety of bamboo, if you ask me. All right, maybe some over here, some over here, another one over here. Um, that should probably do for now. But yes, yeah, so, oh my goodness. Thank you guys so, so much because you all came up with some amazing names for our kangaroos. And I'm really excited. We're going to go through and start naming our kangaroos because they are breeding a lot faster than I thought they would. And it was actually really fun because we did discuss uh, marsupials in the comment sections too. And some of you guys pointed out, and I had forgotten this, and it's a really cool fact, that a kangaroo can raise two joeys at a time. And so if you look inside the pouch, there'll be like one of the newly developing joeys, one of the really tiny tiny fleshless little pink ones and then an older joey and the older joey will emerge out of the pouch to make room for the other one as it as the other one gets older and so she can kind of synchronize two babies at once but they're different age ranges so that there's enough room for both of them and then eventually so that one can leave and make room for the other and i think we have a mating going on right here i think we're witnessing yep 
Witnessing some mating. So let's go ahead. Red kangaroo number six. I'm going to name you Jack because there's so many awesome names that you guys have given me. So I have a pile of kangaroo names. Most of them actually begin with J for some reason. And here we go. She is successfully bred with Jack. So this is one of the females. I'm going to name her Blue. That was actually a name a lot of you guys suggested. Is there like a blue kangaroo <laughs> out there somewhere that I don't know about? Or is that like a kangaroo thing? Here's another one. So here is a female. So she's going to be Joe. Jojo. All right, there we go. We've got Jojo. And over here is another female. We might release this one. No, she's Joy. We might have to start releasing them to the wild pretty soon at this rate, though, because there have been so many. Oh, I heard somebody thunking. All right, here is a male. So I'm going to name him Remus, which apparently means swift in a language. So that's really fun. I like that name. All right, here's another one. Is this a male? Are, they, are the males and females normally different colors? I've never really looked that closely at kangaroos. Do they have differentiation in coat coloring depending on, on the if they're a boy or a girl? Oh, look at that! Joey is just like stomping her little tail too. Whoops. All right, running from Joy. Oh, apparently this male is being chased off. So this is Joey and he's running from Joy. So there we go, another name off the awesome list of names. It's really fun to name them after you guys. Here's Red Kangaroo number one, who is waiting to waiting to meet with Remus. And I'm gonna name her, um, let's actually name her Jamie, because I know a girl Jamie. And I don't have many girl names left for kangaroos. It's mostly like boy names. Oh, and here's a little teensy one. And this is a little boy going to be nursed by Jojo. So this is gonna be Skipper. There we go. Skipper. Is this another? Nope. This is just rusting in the shade structure. I was going to be like, are they really mating again? Oh my goodness, kangaroos. All right. There's Jack. There's Blue. All right. Here's a little boy. Red kangaroo 11. This is Red, which is another name. Blue and Red were actually suggested several times by different people. And I was really confused about that. So if you guys have the mystery of why Blue and Red are popular kangaroo names, please let me know. And this is going to be Thumper because it's another little boy. And then we'll just have to keep our eyes out for any, Red Kangaroo number three, for any unnamed ones. I think this is going to be, this is a female, we're just going to go ahead and name her Hops. So there we go, there's Hops. And then actually Oceana was a name that was suggested a lot. But instead of naming uh, the kangaroos Oceana, I wanted to come over. The tortoises aren't really moving much. <laughs> They're just grazing still. I wanted to name the female tortoise Oceana because I thought that was a really beautiful name. And I wanted to name the male tortoise Oliver because that was also a really cool name. And just the two O names for the tortoises really seemed pretty nice to me. And then actually Andy F pointed out that the tortoise's favorite snack, one of them, is the cactus fruit. And I looked that up and sure enough, the San Diego Zoo said that their tortoises love cactus fruits. It's a really big favorite of theirs. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put down a few cacti around the edges if I have enough to pick from because I love that idea. I didn't know that they enjoyed cactus fruits, but it actually makes sense if you look at the Galapagos Islands. Not a lot grows, like a lot does grow. Like if you're looking at the micro level, if you get down on the ground and you study the different species, there's definitely a lot of biodiversity, but it is definitely not like uh, a jungle, for instance, where the biodiversity is just going to be off the charts. So these guys are from kind of a an island that has some forest, but not like super duper huge forest. And a lot of low-lying stuff because that constant wind, the salty wind pouring across an island can kind of keep a lot of trees kind of stunted unless you end up with an area that is shaded from the wind. So that's why on a lot of islands, you won't see like super tall trees just growing right on the edge too often. Some of them definitely can have that don't get me wrong but often you'll see kind of like um, trees or shrubs that are low to the ground where the wind's not really going to push them or you can actually see where they've been pushed by the wind and they kind of bend low to the ground as they grow you actually can see that on top of mountains too if you guys ever look at the vlogs i took when i worked or not when i worked but when i went to oh what was it oh these guys look so cool when I went to um, Grandfather Mountain in North Carolina, which was really high up and there was this mile high bridge and it was really cool and scary because I'm, I'm a wimp when it comes to heights. I just can't handle heights. Like my legs will give out. <laughs> There's no conscious thought involved. My legs will just give out. But if you look at that, the trees are also bent in that manner too. So, and that's from the wind. So that's really fun. Let's see, pineapple palm. So let's see. Oh, here we go. Prickly pear cactus. These are the prickly pear cactus fruits that apparently 
the tortoises really enjoy. So we're going to put down a few at the back here. Just kind of in a couple spots. I'll mix in some of the other cactuses. Just to make it look a little bit interesting. Hops is now pregnant. Blue was just giving birth a minute ago. Holy moly. Kangaroos. They really move pretty quickly. What used to prey on kangaroos? Like, what are the natural predators of kangaroos? Are they extinct now? Was that some of the megafauna of, like, ancient Australia? Alright, let's just put a couple of them over here. And then I'm going to grab some of the small cactuses, like these. And just put a couple down to kind of help accent the decorative pieces. There we go. Maybe one over here. And maybe one of these big guys back here. So my tortoises seem pretty content to just kind of wander around with each other and graze. <laughs> so I'm glad that they're so happy. And we're working on getting some baby platypus born pretty soon, which is very exciting. Still working on having enough stars. The spotted couscous are giving birth left and right. You know what? Let's see if we have a couple spotted couscous to release to the wild. Um, like this male right here, we could probably release to the wild. Does he have any children? He has some siblings and a child. So here's a theme or here's a male. So let's go ahead. Um, can we release him to the wild? Not yet. Hmm. We might. Oh, look at the baby. You guys, look at the baby. So cute. All right. Look at these guys. I really need to do some research into what their normal social st structure size is. And then after I learn that, we will give away uh, either as adoptions or as like off to the wild you go. Any of the spot couscous. Oh, somebody's in the elevated nest box. Look at that. Look at that majestic creature. Oh, it's so pretty. Then we will give away the other couscous who are like excessive to their normal social structure size. All right, so let's see. Oh, this guy's having a good time. He's taking pictures. He needs entertainment. Why is he not entertained? Let's put a saber tooth cat like entertainer down. No, I know what we need more than a saber tooth cat entertainer. We need some music rocks. People are always happier with music rocks. Where's some music? We need to dance to the music. All right, where's my music rocks? I'm gonna have to find where they're hiding. All right, let's see. Hmm. Here are some cool binoculars. So let's get some paradise binoculars researched. I could see those being useful. Um. Hmm. We could possibly use some of these like torches and lamp posts. I do like the safari lamp posts or just like the normal lamp posts because they look pretty cool. And they light the place up when it gets a little dark. <gasps> Platypus one is going to give birth. Now's the time. Now. Oh, she loves that bone. Now, remember, guys, normally when a platypus... Man, it's got so dark now. Of course, this has to happen at night. Normally, when a platypus gives birth, it lays eggs. It is like the echidna, a egg-laying mammal. There's not many of them. Platypus is on that very, very short list, and I think it's only two. <laughs> I think there's only two extinct, which means currently existing mammals who do that. There were probably a lot more um, in time. Oh, man, all of those kangaroo babies. Oh, my goodness. But... Right now, we're going to follow this platypus. She's going somewhere with her little bone. <laughs> this is so cute. And she is going to give birth because we don't have the mod. Like, she's she's made in a way where the mod does not make it. Oh, there she goes where she lays eggs. And she just had her baby. Baby platypus. And she picked the bone right back up. <laughs> she loves this bone so much that she had her baby. And she went ahead and just picked the bone right back up. Just kept moving. That reminds me of my uncle's my uncle's Labrador dog who was so obsessed with tennis balls that while she was giving birth, she tried to chase one. And we had to like hide all the tennis balls till she was done having her puppies. All right, so platypus number three is headed on in to the water. So going into the water for the first time. All right, what you gonna do once you're in there? What are you gonna do once you're in there, little one? How exciting! How exciting, how exciting. Where is he? <gasps> there he is. He's going back out. Look at how tiny he is. Does he have his mom's love for the bone? I might have to get more of these little bones. Oh gosh, and more kangaroos are being born. Going to investigate the bone. <gasps> oh my goodness. See, and they don't even have that as one of their animal enrichment items. That proves it that I need to make sure to put plenty of these in. Uh, plenty of different enrichment items and food choices in, even if it doesn't list it because they will use them depending on how they were modded. So I'll have to do that more often. So now the platypus is just he's off. He's like, I want to get my own little bone. Oh, that's so cute. Is he going to pick it up? This tiny little thing? Look how tiny he is. That makes me realize I don't know how big a platypus is 
when they actually hatch out of the egg. Like, would it fit in my hand like a little baby chick? Huh. I'm gonna have to think about that. All right, so he investigated the bones. Now he's off to rest in the kelp beds and people are super happy because they're like, oh my goodness, platypus, yay, platypus. And let's put some binoculars in here. Watch out, kid. I'm gonna put down a couple sets of binoculars because I think people would enjoy using those to look at the platypus more up close. And let's come over and the spotted couscous are apparently having some issues. All right, what's going on? Gonna go drink water. Oh, that's a baby spotted couscous. I don't know why they keep putting my spotted couscous in crates. I really don't. All right, why is this little girl unhappy? Spotted couscous Chen needs something to drink. Well, there is a giant, a giant spot for him to be able to get some water. And now he's in the water. Now he's coming over. He swam to the other side, turned around, and he's drinking the water, so he's just fine. Everybody has a great view of the spotted couscous rump. All right, and Red Kangaroo 10 is now pregnant. I didn't realize I had another one. All right, let's name her Jumper. There we go, because that is another one of the names on the list. And spotted couscous are growing up. You know what? Let's go ahead and release this one to the wild. That'll be the first animal we release to the wild. And the more you release, the higher... Yep, there you go. The higher up you go. We just got the first award. 10, 25 would give us the awards. Oh my gosh, it's almost been a whole year for this zoo. I need to find a bathroom soon. I need to recycle this trash. Did she just chuck it on the ground? She just chucked it on the ground because she couldn't recycle it. So she's like, oh, I'm not gonna... I'm not actually going to like... Go ahead and put it in the trash. I'm just going to throw it on the ground because I can't recycle it. Well, that is totally... What on earth kind of behavior even is that woman? I, I disapprove strongly. All right, let's see. Do I even have a recycling bin? There's a recycling bin. Well, if they're going to fuss so much about it, geez louise, there. I'm glad you guys want to recycle, but rude much. All right, so that's down. And I guess I can put like another little recycling bin over here. There we go. And I hope I can have a restaurant pretty soon because <laughs> it really would f like fit all of our guests much better if they could eat at a restaurant. All right, and let's keep looking. I was trying to find, I was trying to find do, 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 a music rock because all of our guests are always happier when they've got music rocks. Ooh, there's a speckled, barely, or a speckled, ugh, speckled, speckled, oh my gosh, I can't even do it. What is wrong? I don't know what's wrong, but I can't do it. There's a bear statue. There we go. All right, it's a cute bear statue. Um, should I put that over here? I'm going to go ahead and put it down. It's kind of a nice statue. Let's just throw that on down at the entrance. Throw down a statue of the globe at the entrance because I think that would be kind of cool. Oh, there's these cool jungle statues too. I forgot about these. Those would be fun. Joy has just given birth. Where, oh, where are my music rocks? All right, here's little fountains. We've already got some fountains put down. Ah, my music rocks, finally. All right, now we can start to put down some of these things. I think this is gonna make much happier guests because I don't know why, just people love music rocks. So we'll get this down over here. Jojo is now pregnant. We'll even put this down. Let's see. So you just tuck music rocks everywhere. And then the guests start dancing to them and they're super happy all the time. And there's extra little music. Platypus one is really hungry. This is a change in how things normally are. All right, we'll get into, the whoops, I didn't mean to crate her. Go ahead and get into the water, darling. Off you go. So she's off to eat now too. Phew, there we go. All right, so we've made a little bit of progress though. <laughs> though the tortoises haven't. And actually you guys, just so you know, in the reading that I did, I learned that tortoises can go over a year. The Galapagos tortoises can go over a whole year, 12 months without eating or drinking because of how efficiently they store their food and water. So I think it's gonna be a long while before these guys need to eat again, that's for sure. All right, our guests should be happier now because we have managed to put down a whole bunch of music rocks. We still need to clean up quite a bit of things. What's wrong with Spy Couscous 1? He's just being curious. Don't, don't harass Spy Couscous number one. So our guests still need to be able to use the restroom. I need to get like a restaurant. I think we're going to have to hurry and add in another couple exhibits really quickly to be able to start impressing our guests again because we're really struggling to get that third star and that means we're still super far away from having a restaurant and being able to get our feet under ourselves for a bunch of other things not to mention maybe we should start like shipping out some of the kangaroos and the couscous because they breed so quickly they breed so quickly all right we'll start just like sending the extra guys who don't have names when they grow up 
off into the wild. Do you have a name? Jojo. All right, who are you? Jumper. Here's Blue. Over here's Joey. So right now they all have names. Nope, Red Kangaroo number eight. Well, guess what, Red Kangaroo number eight? We're gonna go ahead and we are going to release you into the wild. There we go. And that'll be how we just slowly but surely start doing that. Why are they like grabbing my Spy Couscous? They're fine. This is Spy Couscous number six. I'll release Spy Couscous number six into the wild too. There we go. All right, you guys. Well, next time we are definitely gonna add in another exhibit. I'm not sure what kind, but I'm really glad because we have now had some little babies. We've got a platypus baby. And Platypus 1 is sick because who knows why they are so stubborn to eat their food. Who knows why? Maybe I'll get some, some different types of food for them. Who knows? Let's put the jar with fish over here for them to play with. And I will see you guys next time when we will be adding in another exhibit and hopefully, oh my goodness, hopefully figuring out why my platypi will not eat. And I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.